So Fiji and Bobo were best friends for years and Fiji had very strong, beautiful, loving feelings for Bobo that she couldn't share with him because of very important reasons that you find out um, in season one. And now that they have the opportunity to be together, it's just sweetness and light and yumminess. Um, and then, of course, it's not gonna always be that way. <laughs> I mean, I think living in midnight puts you in danger, period. But what we see is that some difficult things start happening that seem related to their relationship. And, um, and it's very possible that their love has something to do with it. Um, so at the end of season one, the Midnighters are as strongly bonded as they've ever been. And you know, having, having fought off this epic enemy, uh, they've really come together and found some peace for a moment when these interlopers arrive um, to, to redo our hotel. And you know this, this building has been there just fine. We enjoy having our meals there and everything, but these people are coming and they wanna make our town a tourist attraction. So immediately we're suspicious. I mean, we're already a suspicious group, but when somebody wants to make a tourist attraction out of a little desert town, you gotta wonder why. And uh, the Midnighters are very much wondering why at the end of the season. And at the beginning of season two, we get to see what the heck is going on. This very shiny, wonderful seeming couple moves in to revitalize the town in a way and, and provide their healing and kind of beautiful ethereal vibe for people all over. And they're bringing a lot of strangers into town. And um, that's not our favorite thing. Fiji is such a sweetheart, but you don't want to tread on her territory. <laughs> she doesn't really like that very much. And seeing the Crystal Desert Hotel and Spa arrive and the fact that they sell crystals like she does and kind of a similar vibe to what she does, but in a much grander fashion, um, I think she's definitely feeling uh, a bit of a burn, so to speak, <laughs> at having them there. They're way too close for comfort. Uh, so we see Fiji react to that in, in her Fiji-like way. Midnight is a town for outsiders. Midnight's a town where you can be weird and even be someone that other people consider to be dangerous and we find the good in you and we protect you and we don't get into your business. And then in come these hipsters and touristy kind of folks who just wanna like snap selfies and, and, and follow the latest guru and that is um, definitely a threat to our way of life, and Fiji's not having it. Fiji's had this beautiful blossoming where she's just embracing her womanhood, embracing her powers as a witch, and, and embracing her love for her love. And what that also brings us to is that, you know, Fiji's, Fiji's a person who I think is always gonna be growing and changing. It's just a part of her nature. This season we get to see what has made Fiji who she is pre-memory. When we're talking about like her ancestry, um, what her lineage is, and finding out that she is from a completely different line of witches than she thought is gonna rock her world.